Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is another video in my series on JavaScript and Node.js for complete beginners. So um, in this video we're going to take a look at the if statement. If you've done any programming before, this will be probably too simple for you. Um, and if you are a complete beginner, this is for you. So uh, if, uh, if you have done some programming before, you probably want to skip ahead in this course a little bit maybe to the bit where we start discussing objects and classes. Well, I'll see how the course goes. I haven't created those videos yet at this point in time, but by the time you watch this, I may have. Okay, so um, I've got a, I've created a file here called conditions.js, and um, I'm gonna just write use strict here, semicolon. You, you may have noticed, if you've been following this course, that often in JavaScript, it will work just fine without the semicolons, but um, I feel it's good practice to put them in. Uh, occasionally they are absolutely needed, and other times um, JavaScript will just kind of automatically kind of put them in behind the scenes. So it will just infer that you meant a semicolon. Semicolons are used to end statements, basically. It's the, the kind of program, programming equivalent of a full stop or a period, as you say, in the USA. Um, but because JavaScript was used for such a long time in browsers, uh, it's kind of got this free and easy thing whereby it will try to correct your mistakes to a certain extent. Okay, so um, let's get a command line argument and we'll, we'll, we'll say that that's going to be a temperature. So um, let's write let temperature. So I'm declaring a variable and I'm going to assign it the value of process.argv Two, which if you've been following this course you might remember is how we get the first thing that someone types after the name of the program to, when they run it so in other words it's the first command line argument and then um, now well let's actually just echo that back just to see it so let's print it so if I run um, node conditions.js it says undefined but what I can do is, after the name of the script, I can write, for example, 21. And then it's going to echo that back to me now. Console.log is, is printing what I just typed. Uh, so supposing we've got some sort of heating system, and we want to take some kind of action if the temperature is, let's say, below 20. So we imagine that um, what I'm typing here is a temperature in Celsius and if it's 20 if it's below 20 it's too cold and I want to turn the heating on I can do that with an if statement an if statement looks like this so uh, I'm gonna write the keyword if then I'm gonna have two round brackets and I'm gonna have two curly brackets and notice I've put the opening curly bracket on the same line as the if and the round brackets and then the closing curly bracket goes on a line further down and it's kind of aligned with the if they sort of line up. I'm following the most common coding convention in JavaScript here. There are others like some people put this bracket down here but that's um, that's less common I believe at the moment now in JavaScript so I'm going to follow the most common formatting for this and it is important to follow a convention for your code formatting is very important. Now in these round brackets I can put a condition so for example temperature less than 20 and um, I can put code in these curly brackets which will only be executed if this condition is true. So let's just output um, some text there with console.log and I'm going to print activating heating. So if I run this now, um, if I put 21 there on the command line, it's not going to do anything. If I put 20, it's still not going to do anything because um, I've said do this only if temperature is less than 20. So 20 is not less than 20, it's equal to 20. Let's run it with, for example, 19.5 and now it says activating heating. So this is an if statement. Um, it's I th Hopefully it's fairly clear what it does. It will 
it will run the code in curly brackets only if this condition in the round brackets after the if keyword, only if that's true. We could put another one in there. Let's just copy that and put another one in. And uh, we can say if temperature is greater than 21, let's say deactivating heating. So now if I run this with, uh, let's say something less than 20, it's going to say activating heating. For 20, it does nothing. 21, it does nothing. But if I type in some value above 21, like 21.2, it says deactivating heating. So now it's too hot, switching the heating off. So this is these are just a very couple of very simple if statements. And um, if you haven't seen these before, it's really important to practice them. In the next video, we'll look at more complicated versions of these if statements. And uh, we'll leave it there for, for this video. Do try that out if you're a beginner especially. And until next time, happy coding.